this year is always nurses are a force for change. get out there and rally with our colleagues about all our issues at the moment. We love staying at the McEwer because they absolutely treat us amazingly and our little flash mob this morning was fantastic. It was a great way to start the day. Suppose your man, you take a glance and then you'll be our guest, we our guest, be our guest. <laughs> Very inspiring um, guest speakers today and looking forward to them all. Welcome to the 69th Annual Conference of the New South Wales Nurses and Midwives Association, the Professional Day. What I wanted to do today is to start by saying something controversial, just to make sure you're all awake. And that is that I'm not actually sure that we should be fighting to save Medicare at least not as we know it. I think what we should be doing is fighting very hard to save what Medicare stands for. It is beyond doubt that people are less concerned about taxes and more concerned about health than they were. You know, we the theme for the, com uh, the conference today is, you know, health, whose responsibility? When we talk about it at the end of the day, health is our responsibility. It's a collective responsibility, regardless of the field we're working in. And it's through building communities and challenging assumptions and you know, promoting inclusion that we can make change. Now, the expectation that some of our most marginalised populations will or can readily transcend both the complexity of their daily existence and the impoverishment of their histories really needs to be challenged. And nurses have a continued role now and into the future in relation to this. That, I think, is the next kind of battle we have to fight. The unconscious assumptions that people make about the relative merit of human beings based on gender, sexual orientation and, of course, on race. Hopefully, one of the things that you'll learn is just how far determination, focus, gut instinct and liberal doses of hard work can carry even the most unlikely candidate um, to places they never could have dreamt of. It was fantastic. There was such a, a broad variety of speakers, um, really interesting issues raised. I liked um, Jane Caro. Jane Caro by far. I love Jane Caro. <laughs> she spoke volumes and spades to me. Well, Jane Caro definitely. She had more that was relevant to nurses and midwives. She had a bigger message. Lisa no. Wilkinson. Yeah. Lisa Wilkinson. Lisa Wilkinson actually. Who wants to be in a Today Show selfie? Yeah? She was just fantastic. Uh, Lisa Wilkinson, because I, I wake up with today. <laughs> I put to you, we are the change we want to see. Let's own it. Well, we're going to get into some business, but this afternoon we're going to see Gillian Skinner, so that'll be exciting to see what she's got to say about the state of things. We're very impassioned about um, supporting uh, everybody making sure our, our patients are getting um, safe work practices in place. It's very, very important. We certainly don't want that to be denied and we'll put up a damn good fight. Uh, in my view, this year has been a little harder than previous years because of the political environment in which we find ourselves. We will have to be a force for change. As nurses and midwives, we have a very strong duty to stand up for our patients to stand up for our communities and to stand up for ourselves. And we will campaign strongly against any attempt to privatise public services and we'll campaign strongly for tax reform uh, to ensure adequate funding for essential public services, particularly health and aged care. It's nothing that is worth a lot ever comes easily and our commitment to safer patient care through a ratio system was never going to come easily. We have a long way to go. 
Gillian Skinner, it's going to be an interesting day because I think we've actually, it's been a bit of a sort of um, a slight friction, I think. I'd be very interesting to see what people ask. Looking forward to meeting our health minister, aren't we girls? Yeah. Oh yeah. Shame. Shame. <laughs> Gillian, I can't wait to get up and ask Gillian questions. You have to give it to the minister though. She comes, she knows she's going to get pilloried, but she's stoic. She comes and, and she just takes it. I'm a great survivor. I'm a bit like a cockroach. Very hard to kill me off, they've found. The government values the priority that nurses and midwives place on providing safe, quality care and work, work very hard to achieve and implement strategies that support putting patients first in everything that we do and everything that you do. When and how are you going to increase staffing and introduce ratios for community health? The campaign that you have about getting extra um, support for community nurses is heard and being negotiated, discussed at the Ministry. Can you guarantee, Minister, that my wages, my conditions of employment and the staffing arrangements will not fall the, below those that exist in the public health system at the moment, or at that time, I should say. In when? 2028. I team. probably won't be here in 2028. Okay. Can so I can guarantee you that every nurse employed now uh, in Manly and Monaval and in that district will be offered an opportunity to work at the new hospital. There will be more nurses required. They will re retain all of their pay and award and conditions for a minimum of two years. And I believe that they will get um, plenty of opportunities if they don't like working in the private hospital to go back to the public because we've guaranteed <laughs> there will be positions in the public system in Northern Sydney. Um, clearly, you've heard from our delegates that their concern is around their rights uh, to bargain, their rights to have those additional positions uh, regulated, covered, protected within the award. We have an issue about the bargaining process and our members want to send you a message and your government. This annual conference expresses anger that the New South Wales government has once again used its unjust laws and refused to listen to the calls from nurses and midwives across the state to put patient safety first. We further note that they have forced upon us an inadequate 2.27% increase. Um, we condemn the actions of this government, its outlawing of genuine award negotiations and the removal of the independent umpire's powers. New South Wales nurses and midwives put the Baird government on notice. We will continue to fight for patient safety, fair industrial laws and a vibrant and equitable public health system for New South Wales. <laughs> Minister, I would like to now um, present to you 10,000 signatures from across the state um, of, the, of our um, Ratios Put Patient Safety First petition for you to table in Parliament and we look forward to the debate associated with that. So. Thank you. I'd just like to say a thank you for the petitions. I'd like an opportunity to respond in Parliament and I give you an assurance that I will personally be involved in that response. But I'm offended at any suggestion that any nurse is not primarily focused on patient safety. We all are and to suggest otherwise doesn't do any of you a justice. There is no one like nurses outside of the health system. The policies are actually quite simple. The first is more nurses doing more. The second is just telling the truth. And the third is an opposition to the Americanization and privatization of the New South Wales health system. For the first time in this state, there is a political party who has actually put in writing in its own policy Labor supports ratios in areas that were not covered in the previous Nurses' Award. We are the glue that keeps the system together wherever we work and we are the ones that have the principle of patient care at heart. I want to bring new life into our union at our small hospital. Getting an idea of what's going on across the state is really important. Interested to see what's going on and what's happening. And the dinner tonight. Yeah. Always love a fancy dress. But I'm so cool and I'm so groovy. When I go bum, bum, bum.
power and influence to protect the health system. It's our responsibility to advocate not only for our patients, but for our universal health system. You all will fight your government and you're going to fight the hospitals. You're going to do education, you're going to do lobbying, and you're going to be persistent. And you're going to form an alliance with your patients and the community. But it's an important fight for the patients and for their safe patient care. It's clear to nurses in the U.S. that despite healthcare costing the nation a great deal, patients are suffering from lack of care. My duty is to my patients, but it is also to my loved ones. And that knowledge is what drives me to be an active union member and to organize with my fellow nurses because collective action is one of the only ways that we can hold this private industry responsible for anything besides what they care about, which is the bottom line. We can and we will win this, but it's going to take us all. You strive valiantly, you maintain your value system, you know no fear, you are brave and courageous souls. You are daring and you are generous. I am so proud of you. We are a strong and proud family of nurses and midwives, and we will not give up on the health and social justice rights of the communities in which we live. See you all back next week.